Hello and welcome to Coleman Tarot. My name is H.E. Coleman and this is going to be your video for the month of October. Even though everything might look exactly the same to you, I am in a totally new place and I've set everything up in the middle of all my boxes. I've been moving all month, so that's why everything is different for me and I can't find my rings. But eventually I'll find everything in these boxes and I hope that you enjoy your video. Okay, Leo, here we go. Hope you are having a wonderful month so far, and I hope you are going to have a great weekend. All right, I'm going to do my best to talk really loud because some of the first videos that came out, people have been saying that they're not loud enough, and I am trying to be polite in my new place and not be super loud, but at the same time, <laughs> I got to make sure you guys can hear the video. Okay, here we go. We have karma. First, right off the bat, that is the Judgment card. Then we have the Three of Cups. Then we have the Seven of Cups. Then we have the Lovers in Reverse. Then we have the Five of Swords. Then we have the Seven of Swords. Okay. Then we have the Hermit is your obstacle. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles as your outcome. Okay. And then we have this one over here. This is the stuff that's taken from you. All right. So we're starting off. The month with the karma card this is about judgment and this can also be about judging others because I see the lovers is in reverse here and I feel like it might be that there's a lot of judgment going around um, they're trying to um, give of themselves they're trying to give up their ego and they are trying to just say okay there's something that's really important that's bigger than us all right and that can be a good thing about a good symbol of what you should be doing in relationship to, to not just be saying okay it's about me or it's about you it's about something bigger than 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 the individual it's about the relationship okay whether this is your family or whether this is your friendship or whether this is a romance because I what I'm getting from this card is I'm, I'm just getting that people are giving up their selves or giving up um, the ego to focus on something that's more important than themselves it's for the in this card it's about the ritual it's about um, the celebration or whatever they're celebrating the equinox and this is about them saying okay this is bigger than us we're, as a group we're going to achieve something special okay we're going to we're going to connect with the universe it's, it's us connecting with each other and connecting with the universe that's what's so special about the solstice or the full moon or you know celebrations like this it's about everyone coming together and it's right above or it's right below the lovers in reverse so i feel like it might be that there's a lot of judgment going on there's a lot of ego happening and not necessarily focusing on the, the big picture okay focusing on unity now over here we have the three of cups and this is a good thing about people getting together this is a good thing about people um coming together together to celebrate so it can be that there's a celebration going on but i also feel like if there is a celebration or there is a, a thing where you guys are getting together to to do something that's bigger than yourself with an organization or with, just with the a, you know like a big celebration type thing make sure that you're not making it about you make sure that your ego is not the, the most important thing okay because karma is what goes around comes around okay so if you put out stuff to the universe then it comes back around to you if you only think about yourself then you're going to run into other people who are only thinking about themselves okay what goes around comes around now here we have the seven of cups and the seven of cups is about a lot of opportunities coming your way and you're going to have to pick one okay so so we have the cups and the cups all right and make sure also if you do have a celebration that you're not overindulging in alcohol or um overindulging in at the party and stuff like that until until you get to the point where you're fighting with somebody or bickering with somebody because i also see these cards here which are um making me feel like it's a bickering situation here we have the five of swords okay and the five of swords traditionally this card is about um somebody winning but at the cost of everybody else okay this card is about somebody who yes they're victorious but they did it in a way that just completely did not care about anybody else's feelings okay they just like steamrolled over everybody to get what they wanted now in this card it doesn't it doesn't really have that feeling so much because there's a nice butterfly there and the butterfly is balancing everything and there's little fairies flying around but at the same time the butterfly is, is balancing all the swords and the fairies are just just like they're trying they're trying to get around but they're not getting the swords they're just like buzzing around and I, I'm, it's, it's, 
still the same type of symbol where it's like one person's doing everything and everybody else's. Um, their input is not being used. Okay, so you need to be careful that you're not um, that you're not just putting yourself first because in this one there's three people and in this one there's three people, but over here we have the one person making a decision. Okay, and over here we have the one butterfly holding all the swords. So it might be that you are in a group situation, but you're trying, you're taking control, which sometimes can be great. But with this and this, I get that one person is taking everything and not really caring about the other, the other people involved. All right, the Seven of Swords. Now this card, this card is more about one person taking everything and not caring. This card is about gathering stuff, but at the same time, he's alone and he's gathering everything. And normally I love this card because the guy looks really happy, but it's it's kind of like the same a little bit the same where it's like one person's getting everything okay one person's gathering everything it's more of a selfish selfishness and a lot of times i'll see this card and i'll say hey you're gathering stuff that's great you're getting stuff but with this and this and this in reverse it, it really can be that one person's being um focused more on their own ego and what they want and gathering stuff but at what cost okay now, your obstacle is the hermit. And the hermit is about going off by yourself to gain wisdom, to gain knowledge, to bring back to others. Okay? And that's what the light is about. Shining your light for others to follow. And the only way that you can do that is to gain wisdom. And the way to gain wisdom is to go off by yourself. But at the same time, your obstacle, and the hermit's a great card because it is really great to go off by yourself and see the big picture and gain some clarity for your life and stuff like that. But as an obstacle... The hermit is saying that you might be doing everything yourself. You might be taking on too much yourself. You might be making too many of the decisions. You might want to delegate some stuff to other people. You might want to let some other people help you make decisions, whether you're in charge of your of your family or not. You know, sometimes sometimes you get so used to being in charge of your family that you forget that other people in your family, even though they're not the head of your family, they they also have opinions and they might also want to help. And they might also, um, sometimes you can let them do what they want to do, you know? <clears throat> so I'm not saying that you're a selfish jerk or anything. Of course not. But what I'm saying is it might be that you are making some decisions without consulting other people who want to be part of the group. Okay? Now, here we have your outcome is the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is about money coming. That's been coming a lot, like taking a long time to get there. But it can also be as a romantic partner or as a person, it's somebody who is very reliable, somebody who is very um, kind, generous, stuff like that. And so that's, that's a great outcome because that tells me that you're going to be generous, you're going to be kind, and that money is going to be coming that you've been waiting for for a long time. So I do feel like if you're in... Um, this thing where you're fighting with somebody because the lover's upside down, it's not necessarily like a huge um, thing where you're breaking up with somebody, but it can be just that there's a little bit of discord, a little bit of uh, uh, not connecting properly, and that can be from, like I said before, I'm really getting the feeling like one person's making all the decisions, and I feel like it's you. I feel like you're going to be making a decision without consulting somebody else or doing something based on your own ego. Um, of having to be right or having to be, you know, get your way, but at the cost of um, steamrolling over somebody else, okay? And this, this as an outcome is telling me that you're not going to be doing that by the end. By the end, you're going to be a little bit more generous, okay? Now, here we have, as um, these are the things that are hidden from you, and this is the Seven of Wands, which is about standing up for yourself, and it's also about fighting with others and, and like, putting your opinion first, See how he's got his thing there? And the others have theirs. A lot of times I'll see this card and I'll say, okay, you have to stand up for yourself or other people might not understand, but that's okay. But with this and this and this, it's it's more of the same. It's more of, um, it's more of uh, having to be right. Your opinion has to come first, okay? Then the other one we have is the chariot. The chariot. And the chariot is great. This, this this means great progress, fast progress, whether it's a relationship or whether it is um, career-wise. This is fast progress. And I think these are both really good things for the end of the month because I feel like this is you being more kind and generous. Um, 
even with the even with letting other people to have some decisions or delegating stuff like that it can be it can be just giving more of your of your time or giving more like you know how sometimes you can win but you don't have to you can win an argument or you can win um get your you can get your way but instead you say you know what let's do your thing this time like that's that's how i see you ending up i see you ending up as being generous and um financially and emotionally and then you have the fast progress okay fast progress in the relationship fast progress in um in your career okay the last one you have is the sun which is the, the, the second best card in the deck or for a lot of people it's the best card in the deck the sun the sun and the star are the best cards in the deck for me i, I think that they're wonderful the sun is about feeling very warm feeling very happy feeling like a kid again okay so you don't have to uh feel like you like you have to be in control where you're just old wizard saying okay i'm making the decision this is like a little kid just feeling like okay i don't have to be in charge i don't have to make the decision every time i can just be a little kid and just have fun okay this is this person's having fun they're charging around the horse and here you have your horses okay so fast progress so i think when you let go a little bit you're gonna have a little bit more fun okay don't feel like you have to uh like you have to be responsible for everything sometimes you can give uh delegate stuff to other people okay mm -hmm. delegate to 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 other people in the family you can say look i can't do everything why don't you try doing this or why don't you do that or you tell me what we should what you think we should do in this in this uh scenario because i feel like um i want your input okay if there's other people that work with you even if they're working beneath you or even if they're just like a co-worker or whatever you can say, hey, what do, you, what do you think about this? What's your input? And they'll be like, why? You're asking my opinion. This is amazing. Okay? <clears throat> so even if, uh, just look around you. You might have some people that are around you that are really sensitive. And you might be um, making decisions and they don't even, you don't even realize that they feel hurt or left out, that they didn't get to put their input in. You can just look around you at the people in your family or people at work and just say, hey, what's your opinion on blah, blah, blah. And then that, I think they'll really appreciate that. Okay? All right. Now, here is your spiritual card. Ah, oh, the same one I just got from somebody else. The butterfly, which is wonderful, beautiful, happy butterfly. I thought I just saw a butterfly, too. I don't know if it was in here or not, but I thought I just saw a butterfly. Uh, it might just be from before. Oh, this guy. <laughs> this guy. Okay, there's your butterflies. That's you as the butterfly. This is the butterfly, and it says beauty. Okay, beauty. All right, so you're going to be a butterfly. Just be, a, just be soft and gentle butterfly, okay? And you have a really great outcome, okay? You have great outcomes. You have this, and you have this, and you have this. So um, really just be soft and gentle and happy like a butterfly, and things will be much smoother than trying to uh, take on all the responsibilities yourself, okay? Have a wonderful month, and oh, wait, I didn't give you an angel card. All right, here we go. That's good. It's going to be good to let go a little bit of... Uh, let go of the responsibility because sometimes it, it, you might just take on too much of yourself. You got three angel cards. Jeez. Okay, the two of Raphael. Two of Raphael. Look, hey, that's great because you had this in reverse and now you have this. Excellent. Okay, good. Whew. Okay, good. Now you have two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits. And it says, don't give up on those that you love. Okay, so if you have a time during the month where you guys are not getting along so well, or you feel like you have to do everything, um, let go, delegate some stuff to them. And this says, um, like, it says, don't give up on those you love. It says kindred spirits. And then it says, dedicated to creating something wonderful, something that is bigger than yourself. It's not just you having to do all the work, and it's not just you having to make all the decisions. It's something bigger than you, okay? Kindred spirits. So that could be romance, and it can also just be the family, it can also be a circle of friends, or just even the earth, because equinox and full moons and stuff like that, uh, and, you know, um, uh, it's just, it's more about the universe and everything coming together, okay? You don't have to feel like it's all on your shoulders. Okay, the other one you have is the high priestess, and this says powerful psychic insights, excellent, reflection and meditations that provides valuable information, be at peace, and look, doesn't this look like the same damn butterfly that we've seen twice already? Look, it's, it looks like the same butterfly. Look at that. I know it's an angel, but look at the wings. Look at the same, the same butterfly that we've had again and again. Okay, so it says meditate and be at peace. That's good advice if you're feeling like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. Try to meditate and just say, 
I'm just part of a bigger thing. I don't need to feel like it's all, it's all my responsibility. Leap of faith is your last one. And this says, believe in yourself, listen to your heart, and do what brings you joy. Okay, do what brings you joy. All right. So that is going to be your month. I hope you have a wonderful month. I hope you can feel like you can give up some of the responsibility and relax a little bit. I hope you feel like you are part of something that is bigger than yourself, something amazing and wonderful and beautiful. You have a lot of butterflies going on this month, okay? And also take into account other people because I think they will really, really appreciate you asking for their input on things, okay? Have a great month. Bye.